it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up? What's good? Welcome back. Today is a very special day. Yes, it is $20 Tuesday, but it is also my one year YouTube anniversary. It's my anniversary. It's my I'm so, so excited to be celebrating one year on YouTube with you all. Man, I can't believe it went by that quickly. Just a second ago, I was putting out my first video, which I'm sure some of you remember looked like this. Hi, my name is Gladys and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my God, y'all, I was so scary in that video. I don't know what I was so scared of. I was just talking to my damn self. But now, you know, after a year's time, I've definitely grown to be more comfortable with you all. It's been a great ride. I'm just so proud of myself. Within this one year, I've accomplished quite a bit. I've created like well over 100 videos, probably like 110, something like that, 110 videos. I've had a number of sponsorships from different companies, Synthetic Hair and Human Hair. I've put out eight lookbooks total. Yes, eight lookbooks. I'm getting very close to 8,000 subscribers. Right now I'm at like 7,700 and something. So that's really exciting. I've reached over 340,000 views on my channel collectively, which is like, <laughs> what? I'm almost at half a million, like, huh? Gladys, for real? And a huge milestone was that I was able to become monetized within nine months. Yes, monetize my channel in nine months and that was absolutely amazing for me because my goal was initially a year. So to finish three months shy of that, I was just like, girl, pat yourself on the back. You know, I just feel so, so blessed. I was looking at my PayPal statement for the month of December and I was like, let me find out these sponsorships are paying a few bills, honey. Because let me tell you, I had to plan my 30th birthday. I traveled to Columbia. I was traveling to New York. I traveled to Atlanta. I had a lot of money going different directions. And November came, I was like, where is all this money coming from? Other than my, you know, stable income, which is my nine to five job as a teacher. But you know, YouTube money really came through for your girl. And I'm not saying it was like a whole bunch of money. Like I'm not making it rain into the 10,000s. But you know, a few hundreds never hurt anybody. <laughs> I'm just really thankful that YouTube, you know, has also become kind of like a little part-time hustle for me, which I never really anticipated. I've learned a lot about the business side of YouTube. If you are a YouTube creator and if you are new, I highly encourage you to do your research because there are a few key people that I've watched that have helped me really understand how the YouTube algorithm works and the best ways to make money off of the platform. While you're here, may as well, you know what I'm saying? And I think it's really paid off. If you want more information about that, like, you know, a video on how much do I make on YouTube or how do I gain sponsorships, something like that, let me know in the comments down below because I am starting a new segment on my channel that will allow me to be more transparent with you all about my life and just things I do. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. So it's been an awesome year. And of course, I've made a ton of friends on the YT. All of my girls, y'all know who y'all are. If I start calling out names, I'm gonna forget somebody. So y'all know who y'all are. Thank you so much for joining me on this ride. Thank you to everyone that comments and reposts and to everyone who shares my videos, who bigs me up on IG. I mean, it means a lot to me. So I just want to give a big, huge thank you. And cheers to one year, y'all. I'm so excited for what year two has in store. So, you know, let's get it. <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So welcome to $20 Tuesday. $20 Tuesday is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute yet super affordable wigs all at the lovely price of $20 and below. So let's hop right into it. Today I am reviewing the infamous wig Valentino by Free Trust Equal. Now I have reviewed Valentino before in the FF Hot Cocoa color. If you want to check that review out after this, you'll see it in the cards up above and I'll put it in the description box down below. Now Valentino does come with your standard cap construction. It has your two combs here in the front 
and comb in the back with adjustable straps. It is a lace part wig, which means there's no lace to cut. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. All right, y'all, so let's just dive into the pros of Valentino. The first pro of Valentino would definitely be, for me, the style and the length. I think this is absolutely perfect for every day. It comes down like, what, a good, what, 16 inches or so? And I think it's so cute. I love these waves and these curls. I really like that they didn't overdo this bang here because I've noticed with some units, it'll be curly like this, but then it's like a huge swoop bang here. And it's like, where am I going with this? No, I really appreciate the style. Mind you, I've had Valentino before, and when I first got her, I was in love with the color. Absolutely in love with the face framing hot cocoa. Honestly, I do feel like Free Trust Equal was the first company to do the face framing highlights. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I don't remember anyone doing it before them. When it came out, when you saw the little FF, everyone was like, what's FF? Face framing, what? Okay. And face framing was like a, a really big trend starting in 2018. When when I got that hot cocoa, you couldn't tell me anything. I felt like I was a shit. So that was like my biggest highlight when it came to Valentino, the color and the style. Now, since I've worn her before, I am very familiar with the cons. I see how she can be kind of a toss up as to whether you buy her or not. One con to me is the construction. I mean, the lace part, we know what we're getting with the lace part. There's no lace to cut. That means there's going to be a line of demarcation. And I have shown you in other videos how to cut out that line of demarcation. If you wanna check out my last $20 Tuesday, it'll be in the cards up above. And there I definitely show you how to cut a V in your lace, which helps eliminate the line of demarcation so that way it will blend seamlessly into your scalp. Now, another con for me with Valentino was the amount of tangling that I received. With the first one I had after day three of wearing it, it was like Tangle City, like none of this. Ooh, I'm getting tangles right now. <laughs> but it wasn't easy breezy at all when it came to putting my fingers through it. It tangled a lot, a whole lot. It started looking like a rat's nest. For me, I didn't mind too much because I loved the look of the face framing color. I just feel like Free Tress really got that coloring right on the hot cocoa wig. And so I didn't mind the tangling and I didn't mind the fact that I had to trash it after like the fourth time wearing it. I was okay, this is $20. If I really want another one, I'll get another one. However, knowing what I know now and knowing all the other wigs that have come out since then, I would not buy Valentino again. I just, I don't think I would, at least not in this color. Like, if you want a dark color wig like this, the closest thing I could think of is Bobby Boss Kylie. And I highly recommend her because the cap construction alone is just better. It's a lace front wig, but it's a very beginner lace front. So if you are very new to wigs, I would suggest Bobby Boss Kylie. I think this is cute, don't get me wrong, and I love the length, but it's just not going to last. I just need you to know that when you purchase Valentino, you are getting it for this look and this look only, and it might be for one night only, it might be for three nights, but you're not gonna get like a full two weeks of wear back to back. Like that's not happening with this wig, unless you do something extra, like maybe if you wash it in fabric softener or something like that. But I didn't try that, I just trashed the wig. I was like, I'm not, I don't, I'm fully doing it. Also another con I had to this wig um, was this space right here. I mean, it's a lace part wig, so it's to be expected. There's no hairline to show, but this track is poking out right here and I really wanna cut it out. Now I have shown you all how to do that in my video on Outre Ophelia. You should definitely check that video out if you want something more detailed, but I'm going to just try to cut this out right now, see if it'll lay just a tad bit flatter. Okay, 
that track was being really stubborn. So I'm not gonna continue. That was just, just to give you an idea. I think it's best if you just watch my Ophelia video, which will be in the cards up above and in the description box if you want to know how to cut out that track in the front. Valentino is super cute and I, I see why a lot of people fell in love with her due to the price point. I mean, that's the biggest pro, right? This wig can now be found for anywhere from what, $16 to $20 online. And it's only gonna get cheaper as it gets older. So I'm like, why not? For that color? Yeah, you know what, for the color, I might get it again, but probably not. But she's so cute. The fibers are definitely like, this is definitely $20 fibers, y'all. We're not getting premium with these fibers, but the style and you know, that's why Valentino became so popular, the style and the colors that were available. So let me know how you feel about Valentino in the comments down below. Did you catch that Valentino wave, that Valentino craze when it first came out? How do you feel about her? How do you feel about her now? At this point where I am in 2020, you know, Valentino was cute for the time being, cute for what it was, but you know, I prefer a lace front. That's just me. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you are new to my channel, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We are making our way to 8,000 subscribers. We are on the road to 10K. So make sure you join the family. And again, huge shout out, huge thank you to everyone that has been on this journey with me. I'm so ecstatic to make it to one year on the YT. What? And I'm making some money on here. Like, I feel so, so blessed to be able to share my talents with you all and to see all the other awesome, talented people on this platform. Thank you so much for tuning in to $20 Tuesday. Thank you so much for an awesome, amazing year on the YT. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.